more encouraging what you saw because that's what you want to say on Monday. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, the film's never as good or as bad as you feel, you know, at the time. Uh, take away a couple of penalties on some of those runs and take points off the board. You know, it's, it's probably a different ball game. You got to force them to start doing some things they don't like. And, uh, but overall, I thought, you know, we got backs to the safeties, and that's the offensive line's job. So they did a great job up front getting us to the safeties, and now we just got to make people miss. But, you know, we don't tackle a lot in camp, so that's really, um, we, I think we had two days of live action, so our, our skilled guys are still figuring out where trouble's coming from, and then it gets there a little faster when it's live than tag off. So, um, I've, you know, felt pretty good about it after. Obviously, there's things to clean up and, and your typical first game kind of mistakes. It's the first time we've allowed our linemen to cut block as well. We didn't do it in practice, so we had to work the timing out on a couple of those where we got illegal chops, which are big penalties. So, uh, overall, I think coaches were encouraged by it, but definitely know there's plenty of work to be done and, and a much tougher opponent ahead this week. Would you say you're more comfortable with the rotation? after one game, the guy is kind of solidifying more spots? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, that's, that's on the coaches to figure that substitution out, but I think we have a better grasp of it and uh, certain guys for certain situations, and, and uh, you know, I think we'll see a little more of that this week even uh, than we had last week, so uh, I think we will How would you evaluate Tanner's performance on Saturday? It was pretty good. First game out, uh, you know, a lot of times guys kind of start a little jumpy, but I thought he settled in. Matt Bushman made a big play for us, kind of kind of got things settled down a little bit. So um, there were some some plays left on the field um, that, that happened, you know, especially when things pick up in a game speed situation, receivers are moving faster, quarterbacks got a little more adrenaline. So uh, there were some opportunities down the field that maybe we missed as well that it's just, uh, you know, we're close on, had replays on, those kind of things. But um, uh, overall, I felt like he played pretty well, managed managed everything uh, really well, and, and was poised and executed. And then now we just need to kind of clean up the little things and just settle in a little bit as the starter. So receivers, did they get open enough for you? Yeah, we were, you know, we had some shots downfield that, you know, the read takes you there. It's kind of one of those things where it's third and two and you throw a short completion for a first down and you look up and there's a post route running wide open. So uh, we had some opportunities down the field that we didn't take um, that after watching the film, kind of through that natural progression, you know, sometimes in practice or when you're scripting it, you know, one and two look pretty good. Mm -hmm. But you got to get to three when the safety jumps it. So the safeties were squatting. You know, we looking at it. It's like, man, we could have thrown post all game um, and probably had some success. I felt the receivers were separating and, uh, enough for us to take those shots, and we were open enough that had we gone there, we had some opportunities. So I know, you know, I don't know if you guys get the coaches' film, but you see the big picture a little more than on TV. I think our guys uh, did a good job of getting vertical and. Getting releases off the of jam outside. How do you, are you prepping tails? for? How do you get to them? I mean, they're tough. Their strengths. They're, uh, <laughs> what are you guys going to try to do? <laughs> their strengths are their team speed. I mean, they're they're good players. They got NFL first rounders every year on that defense. No different this year. So uh, they lost a few of those guys, but it seems like every year they just reload and the next guy steps in and picks up where that guy left off. So um, you got to be really efficient. You got to be play fast. You got to be sharp, and you can't be thinking and running and, and try to get open. You got to know where you're going and then get there quick. So uh, overall, they've got great team speed, size. They've got everything. And I think there were 16 touchdowns scored on them last year, was all in 12 games. So uh, you know we got our work cut out for us, but that's why we're playing the game. Is prep a little different without fresh tape and the system is a little bit different? Yeah, this is another one of those first games where they've, I'm sure, done some research in the offseason. We'll have some different wrinkles that they haven't put on film yet. So uh, we're kind of going into it a little bit, eyes wide open, to kind of wait and see what their new twist is. Uh, we can watch all the film from last year you want, get an idea, but it's going to be different. They're going to have some wrinkles that we haven't seen. So we got to minimize the damage when that happens and uh, then get over on the side and talk about it and clean it up and, and make those in-game adjustments.
coach. You, last year, it was your first year trying to get this program up to speed to kind of match what you want to do as a program. What challenges does Coach Ogeron and his staff have being this their first year as new coach staff with, with in their first game? Yeah, a lot of those coaches have been there, so really it's it's the new coordinator on the offensive side, I think. So that's that's different for them. But um, defensively, Coach Aranda was there, and and uh, they've got it's not a new deal for them. You know, Orgeron took over early in the season, and and uh, this isn't really their first go round. So I wouldn't treat it that way um, on the outside looking in. How did you grade out the running backs? How did you think they performed? Pretty good. Again, you know, there's some arm tackles that got us uh, in open space that, you know, like I said, we, we don't do a ton of tackling, and so we got to pick our feet up a little bit. But I thought overall they, they played pretty well. Um, saw the cuts, saw the holes, but you know, we got to, you know, get those extra yards that are out there after contact. Do you expect as many guys carrying the ball as you had in the first game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, everybody will get touches. There's a place for everyone. And uh, I think the same guys you saw in there will probably continue to get work. You may see one guy get a little more than he got last week. So, you know, it may be a little more of a rotation even, but we'll see how the game's playing out. Did anybody emerge more than you anticipated? Um, Kabika looked really good for his first game at running back. He broke some tackles and was good inside between the tackles and found some uh, some extra yards in there. So I think he was a pleasant surprise being first game and, and uh, getting a good feel for that. What is it about Kabika that you really like him at running back as opposed to the outside linebacker that he played? Well, I think he's a little light for outside linebacker talking to the defensive coaches. So talked to him about making the switch, but he's got pretty good vision in there. You can see his little creases and then uh, runs hard, keeps the legs churning, and you see him kind of squirt that one fourth quarter run that uh, you know, he got in there and just kind of stayed moving and, and squirted. So uh, we like that about him. Did you anticipate more of Bushman? I hope so. Um, if the read takes us there, you know, <laughs> so we're going to try to continue to find ways to get him the ball. Uh, but, you know, Team start covering him a little more. They're going to see him on film too, and we got to be able to uh, get off of that and go to the next read. So, but we'll we'll see a little more uh, workload for him probably, and, and uh, he's a guy that made some plays for us, and so we'll give him more opportunities. Did any individual receiver stand out in the um, I don't know if anybody emerged. I think it was a lot of what we kind of expected. Uh, Talon Shumway went out and made a great catch on a 50-50 ball. Bushman and then uh, Bo Tanner was behind coverage a few times. So, you know, those are things that when you see on film, it, you feel more comfortable as a quarterback only had, and looking that way and taking that shot, knowing that you feel good about his speed and, and him getting off the ball. So, uh, you know, I'd like to see a little more out of him. You know, we can definitely improve and, and uh, not rush things quite so much, go ahead and work the route, and then a little more after the catch as well. So, uh, a couple of opportunities where we had people in space and didn't get much out of it. So